left is probably hoping the hubbub over the Mike Flynn guilty plea will drown out this story. But a group of congressmen is demanding that the FBI investigate alleged special treatment of Hillary Clinton during its investigation into her private email server. Congressman Matt Gates of Florida sent a letter to FBI Director Christopher Wray asking the Bureau to explain its decision to investigate Clinton with a, quote, small team. What does that mean? The congressman joins us now. Congressman Gates, you've been all over this. Uh, pe people are, are saying, oh, you just don't understand when they say special investigation and small team, that's just routine kind of lingo. So you're making a big deal over nothing. Well, Laura, we now have smoking gun evidence that Hillary Clinton got special treatment, and it's important to provide context. We've got Loretta Lynch on the tarmac with Bill Clinton. We've got Loretta Lynch telling James Comey to call this a matter and not an investigation. Then we've got James Comey sucking this up to headquarters and keeping the investigators in the Washington, D.C. office away from the Clinton investigation. And then he drafts the exoneration statement before even conducting the interview. In six days, the FBI director, Christopher Wray, will be before the House Judiciary Committee. And we need answers because Hillary Clinton didn't deserve special treatment. She should have been treated like every American. And now we know she was not. Do you think that when they say special treatment and the way they designated it, it was just, from what you can see with all the things you just laid out, it was just kind of soft pedaling it or short cutting it or we know the conclusion, let's just put some window dressing on it so it looks like it's official, but let's wrap this baby up as fast as possible. Is that where you're getting at? Well, that's what the evidence suggests. And when you look at the recent documents released about the tarmac meeting between Loretta Lynch and Bill Clinton, the FBI was more worried about spin control and public relations and punishing the person that released this information than they were about the improper conduct of the Attorney General of the United States. And so time and again, we see from the Obama era that they were determining the outcomes before actually conducting the investigation. That's Congress not what the American people deserve, and that's why we're going to fight for a real investigation. Congressman, weren't they also desperate to find out who leaked the Clinton meeting on the tarmac with Loretta Lynch? Absolutely. Recently discovered emails show that the FBI was very concerned about who let the American people know that Loretta Lynch was meeting with Bill Clinton, but they weren't at all concerned about the fact that the meeting had occurred and had jeopardized this very critical investigation. So we're really seeing a circumstance where the FBI, the Lynch Department of Justice, was engaged in a cover-up of their activities, all at the same time they were determining the outcome of the Hillary Clinton investigation before actually doing it. All right, Congressman Gates, thanks for that update. All right, ready for some humor? Black Lives Matters, that's the humor. No, sorry, Black Lives Matters thinks it can bring down white capitalism by creating a black Christmas. And their idea is for black consumers to boycott any white-owned stores. So tell me, how is that not racist? And don't people like Hillary Clinton and former President Obama ultimately share some blame for helping legitimize such a radical organization? Just listen. Black Lives Matter simply refers to the notion that there's a specific vulnerability for African Americans that needs to be addressed. When people say Black Lives Matter, that doesn't mean blue lives don't matter. And we do have to stand up and say loudly and clearly, Black Lives Matter. All right, joining us now for reaction is attorney Anthony Tall. All right, Anthony, you got you to educate me on this one. I do not understand this at all. How do you determine, first of all, just as a factual matter, if a business, let's say, is owned by like an Indian guy in a partnership with a white uh, woman and then maybe has a, a, has a black like uh, co-owner as well, maybe three people own a business together, does that business get boycotted because there's an element other than a black element in the ownership structure? How do you determine that? Well, I don't know if that's how you focus on the problem. I think you pretty much just focus on what they're saying is that there's black businesses in the black community that need to be supported and need to be encouraged. You know, this is the day of Oprah. This is the day of blackness. You know, black economic power means something. So what Black Lives Matter is saying is let's just invest 
in black businesses for this Christmas. Let's make sure we spend our dollar the way that a lot of other ethnic groups have spent their dollars for years. So I don't know if the focus is so much on whether or not there's a diversity or multicultural within the business or excluding whites. I think the focus is on let's make sure that our economic dollar is spent in our community and we build entrepreneurship, which is well, a Republican yeah. idea. I'm surprised you don't like that, Laura. Yeah, well, I actually think um, it's people want to Catholics go to Catholic businesses. You know, I, I don't have any problem with that. My problem is when it seems to be based in a in a very it's kind of a negative thing. Christmas is about, you know, Christ and the birth of Christ. And of course, retail is important. But I think the, b businesses need 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 consumers. They need customers. So why penalize a business that just happens to be owned in whole or part by a white person? Maybe that white person or Indian person or Asian person maybe pulled himself or herself up by the bootstraps, came from nothing and started a business in a minority community. Don't we want to encourage white and Asian and all sorts of people to come into black communities to bring more dollars and investment. That way, black people can come work there and maybe become a manager and ultimately take the take the shop over. Isn't that something good? Well, yeah, that's good. But I think I think because black people in this country have had such an economic struggle. Remember, this is nothing new. Going all the way back to Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Rosewood, where blacks would try to start their own businesses, which could expand and could express the diversity that you're talking about. And a lot of those communities were destroyed. So with that being the case, we're still here in 2017, where now we realize the black dollar has economic power, as it always has. What's a black dollar? And when maybe you say a black, hold on, I say green dollars. What do you mean black dollars? I mean, it, oh, I definitely, a, a I definitely, under, I definitely understand. I definitely yeah, understand dollar green spent, dollars. Yeah, I guess what, what I'm saying. What, what I'm trying to say <laughs> is a dollar spent at any at any uh, store, retail outlet. I mean, that dollar goes into the business in the community. So I, I understand spend money in the community. I think that's great because it encourages more business, encourages more jobs and so forth. That's great. But it just seems antithetical to me to helping a community where people are coming in from all races and backgrounds, whether it's St. Louis or Detroit. Uh, isn't it about welcoming people of all colors and backgrounds into different un underprivileged, underserved areas? And bringing all people together, isn't that what Christmas is all about? Not like, you're black, I'm white, you're Asian, let's all go to our own stores and go to our own separate places. To me, that's just, that's just wild after, after yeah, everything but the country's Yeah, I, I don't think through. that's the point. I know, I don't think that's the point, though. I think the point is that what they're saying, and let me go back to the black dollar thing. What I'm saying is that black people who have money, which is obviously green, that their dollars go into black businesses. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with saying that if you live in a certain community, let's support the businesses in the black well, that's community. Well, different, but you're, but you're making groups. it about race. And I think this is the stuff that's I'm not making so it about race. Crazy. I haven't made Black Lives yeah. Matter is I haven't made anything about, about race. race. And, and, and when you say black people should shop only at black-owned stores, that is a racial statement at a time where our country is supposed to be uniting, coming together, especially at the holiday season. And if it was going to be really focused on only black businesses, why just focus during Christmas? Make it all year long, forever. Only go to black-owned stores. Only well, go to black-owned businesses. Do it a whole year long. I think let's, it should really be that way. Right. I think it should be that way. I think it should be that way. Oh, but I think you're once again. I think you're missing the point. It yeah, we be have. That I think way. you're missing so the no point. The point is that ever. yeah. The, no, no, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is there should not be there should be a diversity of dollars yeah. spent. But because of those people who are at a low economic level to build their dollar value up in other communities, yeah. they need to learn how to invest in their own business. I know you agree with needs, that, Laura. Everyone needs to learn to have a work ethic, save, save for a rainy day, and be open to people of different backgrounds and different and I just think the racial line is wild. I I, I think it's it's like the opposite meaning of Christmas, at least to me. But, you know, that's I, my view. I think that's I, how you I, see it. Yeah, I yeah, think you see it is. wrong. I, I appreciate fine. it.